He's a South African, Dion Mayer, former journalist, uh, crazy motorcyclist, and he actually writes in Afrikaan first, and his novels are then translated into English. He is unquestionably the supremo of South African crime writing fiction. Read, read, read. Uh, that's the very best writing tip I can ever give. I think the last one, Fever, that I finished earlier this year, it's only going to be out in English next year, but it's the first book that I feel that what I hoped to do, I, I accomplished. Uh, that's never happened before. I write in the, a writing room, uh, at my study, uh, very dark because I, I get distracted quite easily, so I have to keep everything quiet and dark as possible. I write from very early in the morning, around about uh, 5.30 to uh, 6 o'clock I start, and then I write until lunchtime with just a breakfast break in between. I think the books of Ed McBain and John D. MacDonald, I started reading Ed McBain around about the age of 14, and uh, I was just addicted, and I think both of them have had a great influence on my writing. Ice cream. I, uh, I'm really a sucker for, for good ice cream. We don't get Ben and Jerry's in South Africa, uh, so whenever I'm traveling, I try to get my hands on uh, some peanut butter uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Coffee. I, uh, the first thing I do when I get up in the morning before I start writing is to go fix me a pot of really strong coffee to, just to get me going. And that's about it. I, usually I, I look at what I wrote the day before, I start revising, and then I continue from there. No, I never thought that I would be good enough. I always loved writing and, uh, you know, I loved writing stories, but I, I never thought I would be good enough to get published and when I sent in my first manuscript I really had no hope and nobody was more surprised than me and my mother when it actually got accepted. In my head mostly I, I think about it, I, you know, I think all authors are collectors of, of story ideas and I, I collect a lot of story ideas in my head and it's like a puzzle when two or three of those story ideas start fitting together then the, the, the germ of the book uh, starts uh, growing um, and, and it happens in my head. I, ne I never do any planning on paper or on a spreadsheet or whatever, it's, it, I just think about it. Where do you get your ideas from? <laughs> from all over, especially from interviews like this, you know, that's, uh, especially with the murder victims I often identify during interviews like this. Once I lost uh, 60 odd pages of a novel that I started writing when uh, my computer crashed. Uh, that was long before the days of the cloud and I've been backing up pretty well since. We'd love to know your views on whether the country shapes the crime. From reading Dion Mayer's novels, do you have a view of the criminal life in South Africa that's different to, say, England or America?